Woohoo! Good evening, welcome to March 23rd, 2023 Planning Board meeting. I, I'm i going to move the agenda around a little bit and make the conception first. For you have two conceptions, one I, okay, the one I don't know about, I'm not going to move up to first. I'm going to move up the one I know about up to first. <laughs> For Christina and George Overton, 257 Dun Dustin Tavern Road, map 411, lot 281. What well, podium, sir? State your name and address and all that kind of stuff. So let Hello, me get everybody. you on the record. Sure. My name is George Overton. I live at 257 Keep Dustin Tavern up. Road in Ware, New Hampshire. Can you pass this out earlier? I don't think I made enough copies. I only made five. Sorry. Nope. Thank you. We're sharing. Yep. Um, nope. Can't point anybody. Nope. So the first first three pages are like a conceptual outline as far as what my wife and I are looking to accomplish. And then the second page and the, excuse me, the fourth and the fifth page are uh, just visual representations of the house. I took some pictures so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Maybe you're familiar with the property, maybe you're not. Well, you're gonna make us read all this. So we'll read this real quick. Sure. So the last page is the entrance. There's a separate entrance. There's a, a room on the back of our house. It's about 19 by 24. Is the actual tavern building? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's it. So you're going to do this pretty much on appointment? Um, uh, yeah, in the beginning, my wife's going to have it sporadic hours as far as maybe people picking things up. Um, but then eventually she'd like to be open. I believe she stayed there about like 20 hours a week. On the, I think oh, on the very last page. So that's a picture from standing in our driveway. Our address is on Dustin Tavern, but our actual driveway is off Oak Hill, so you're not quite turning into the property directly from Dustin Tavern. I think it's up the old tavern. Yeah, old tavern, yeah. yeah. <coughs> it's just been a little bit of everything over the years. Nothing you're doing requires running water at all inside. I'm saying it again. Everything you do is dry goods. There's no running water at all. No, there's no there's no water hookup in there. It's just the hose on the outside of the door. But yeah, I don't I don't plan on using that. If there's water goods. inside, we got a problem. <laughs> just dry goods stuff. It's not. Mm -hmm. Yep. concern right now is parking yeah so our, our parking lot is pretty spacious um, I work during the day my wife's home uh, to the left side of the garage is like a double parking area that goes back its length of for the width of probably about a car and a half and goes back two car lengths so my wife will park there and then it will essentially leave the whole lot open so there'll be nobody else in the yard that's the entrance to the t to the uh, to the place that's this yeah, the entrance to the shop is to the left, and the door to the right is our main entrance to our house. Can you, um, well, for a sign, you need to get a sign permit. But yeah. For, for a, um, could you do a directional sign at the road saying a little arrow, you know, pointing the driveway saying store parking or something? Yeah, that's because fine. Because that, that's a really tough spot to have anybody park on the street because you're on the corner of Oak Hill Road and 
you're assuming someone will just see it and stop kind of on the yeah. road. Yeah, that's fine. I can, I can, I can put, you know, like Tavern Antique, Dustin Tavern Antiques parking out front yeah. or something and like that. Yeah, and that doesn't, that doesn't, that's a, that doesn't count as a sign because okay. it's a directional sign. Okay. So when you apply for your sign permit, you don't need to include that in the area and all that okay. stuff. Okay. So you said you had enough parking for five cars? Easily, yes. But when you, I see you anticipate hiring an employee, so technically four. Um, I'm assuming your employee would drive Yeah, that's to work. just for yeah. transparency as far as the yeah. plan down the line. It's uh -huh. going to be probably quite some time before that happens. Yeah. But yes, you're right. But you, you're, on the when, left, you, when you talk about yeah, parking yeah. five cars, it's in front of the garage. As long as Correct. you pull in the driveway, you don't park on the street. Yeah, if you look at the garage, you can put your wife's car and the employee's car. Yeah, when I do snow removal, like at the house, I'll park the two cars on that side so I can clear the driveway and then move them over so two cars can easily fit there. It also comes right out of the state highway, part of the other end of it. The other end. Yeah. Right out where, was it, Forest and Forest Road? Forest Road comes out right. Right yeah. there, that, I can't tell how it goes into it. Oh, yes. That's been. Uh, I'm a little mile away, and I know if I drive. That's a little bit of everything. Yeah. Over here. Dahlberg was up in here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That was the. Uh, it's, that's why I'm saying a car parked like on the I, side of the road here wouldn't be a good idea. I used to have eight or ten vehicles parked in there at any given time when it was an apartment. Thing. So all, all your access is off Oak Hill? Correct. Our driveway, our mailbox is on Dustin Tavern, but our driveway is off Oak Hill. Yeah. So when do you plan on starting? Hope to start. As soon as possible. Everybody think it's definitely an allowed use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it? <coughs> would that be considered a home shop or something? Or? No, that's the uses are allowed in 25, 4, 3, and grocery store and all that kind of stuff. Is part of it, so it's. I'm just thinking of the scope of it. Oh, your size. Yeah, he's no problem. No, I mean, as far as it would be considered, because there's only one, potentially one non filling member employee. Home based business and no, no, it's not a home based business. Why not? Because he's in the village district. We can't have a home based business in the village district. You don't need to go that way. Because the permitted uses are of course I can't find it now. Twenty four three five and twenty four three four. Yeah, That's commercial, so. Limited to groceries, drugstore, general merchandise. But it references that on page 27. That's commercial. That's yes. commercial zoning. Right, yeah. but it refer references that 24, 3, 5 on 27 at the bottom of the page. Yep. <coughs> Everything except a laundromat. Yep, pretty much. And similar uses. So it definitely includes an antique shop. Yes, it's clothes, furniture. Yeah, it's a retail and sort of general, 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 general yeah. furniture, yeah. apparel, especially tobacco. Yeah, da, 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 da. So he's definitely in allowed use. That's not an issue. Yeah. The question is, does he have to do a site plan? Well, that's what I'm thinking of his home-based business. and Because it's a legal use, carried out entirely within the dwelling and occupying more than... Yeah. Yeah, how, big, how big is the area you're occupying? 456 square feet. He's under 500 square feet. The building is plenty big enough. That's less than 25 percent of the building. Yes. Yep. Right. Depends if you count the dance floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we, I don't have a problem not doing a site plan. Well, I, I don't until either. He, until he until hires he hits employees. This. Until he hires employees. Why? Or hits this. What's that? Well, yeah. then you're talking. Well, that, that's the 500 square feet right. he's talking about. Yeah. 
I'm going to say if he hires employees, then there could be parking issues and septic issues and, yeah. and all kind of things at that point that we should probably look at better. But there's no there's no public restrooms if that makes a difference. Well, employees would be. Oh, the um, when the employees. That's what I said. When you get to employees, yeah. then you that's got, a different animal. Yeah, it gets scope gets bigger all of a sudden. Sure. I believe that was all actually part of the plan is obviously getting the town involved once that situation happens. Yeah, you that's on the it's on the third page of the plan. Yeah, you're saying you're saying it's just you and your wife until you get going and you estimate twenty hours a week. Well, would one employee make that much sense? Just well, I just figured that was a good landmark. <laughs> one? A good benchmark. <laughs> good benchmark, yeah. yeah I, I, that being his wife. No, 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 no. Oh, not not family member yeah. type employee. No, 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 in other the words, other than the owner. Hire somebody yeah. else. Other than, other, than, other than him and his wife. Family member matters? If they would be related? <laughs> no, no, no. Other than him and his wife. Other than you. If, they, if, if somebody lives in the house, then no. they, they don't count. Fair enough. Okay. All specific employees, you have to provide them with bathroom, water, right. all that type of stuff. So if, if you don't have any employees, you don't exceed 500 square feet. Say that again? Or. Or oh, above or those are the feet, and or one or the other. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't plan on building anymore, so. Just the just assigned by the driveway to get people to pull in the driveway, not park in the street. Sure, I have no problem with that. Yeah. Is there any requirements for that particular sign or nope. anything? Okay. Uh, there is. It can only be so big. Okay. Certain it size. Doesn't, but, doesn't go. For, doesn't. It's not counted as square footage for the sign no, requirement. No, the directional sign only really has a certain size to size limit to it. Okay. Are well, you going to have a sign for the business? No? Yes. Yeah. Yep. You have to get a sign permit for that. Yeah. But I'm sure Tony you can, can get the sign permit. They'll give you the dimensions anyway. So. I'm sure Tony can help you out with that. Yep. Any other questions for him? Comments? Suggestions? Well, it seems pretty uh, simple. But the only thing. That I wouldn't do is write up 20 hours a week because I don't, I mean, who would know the difference, but why Why not just go with 40 right here? I only make a bit of difference uh, rather than limit yourself. Um, I, I guess just based on the amount of time we have, like my daughter has other obligations outside of school and yeah. I work and my wife takes her to those things like dance class, things like that. So that's, I guess, just a starting point. If you're happy with it, that's fine with us, I'm sure. She's happy with it, I'm happy with it. No comment on that. <laughs> Better not. Yep. Yep. <laughs> One thing, she's listening. <laughs> I go by the adage, happy wife, happy life. So. You are correct. Okay. I, go for it. Perfect. Okay. Good luck. Perfect. You that's it? it? Sure. We should keep one for our, at least yeah, one for records. I mean, I'll throw on the file. No, no, no. Okay. Thank you guys for your day. What's the other conceptual, Naomi? Yeah. We'll save her for last. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> Miss Tina, come on. You can't get your ice cream. I was going to say, I, I yeah. couldn't even get inside anymore. Wait, what's this about no ice cream? Uh, I used to own Nana's. <laughs> Uh -oh. Wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> Still had her ice cream a lot, though. Yeah. <laughs> she was the kids in the tax right? <laughs> My kids. Tina Connor, 1387 South Stark Highway. Um, we have met with Renewal by Anderson, um, and we have picked out some really nice black framed windows, and we were told we needed to come and get approval because we're in the... Historic. Village district. Um, not as far as they're not purple. No, see, and even Tony said if I picked out a nice lilac color, I might be able to get away with it by for the house. But <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so that's why we're here is to see about getting the approval. It's just going to be simply the frame of the windows, and then it's going to be white siding around them. Um, so this if you'd gentleman. Like to have a current view of the house from the street. I'm not sure. 
Yeah, familiar. And familiar. It's black, and then there'd be grids between the panes. This would be the black windows. The trim. The outside is white. The trim is white, yes. And the house is still going to be yellow. Well, no. We're doing the windows first, and then we're going to do the house. We're hoping to go. We're going white with the house. Yeah. We're trying to make it look nicer, so help us out here. Yeah, no, I didn't know if it was. Yeah, no. Yeah, I see. No. And with the old houses, it's just going to Yeah. Um, we never even gave it a thought because we have black trim on Nana's. My mom had started painting the windows black, and nobody said a word. So we didn't think about it until renewal called to see if they needed a permit, and then everything mm. started up. So, but while we're here for that, I figured I'd probably better ask now because we are going to do, we have, some of the house is vinyl sided, the newer part, the unit three that um, Guy Laporte added on. Um, so we want to find out if we have to keep the clapboard on the main part of the house and just repaint that, fix that, or if we can continue the vinyl siding because that would be definitely changing. And this is a picture of what a finished black window would look like in the opening with the white trim that we'd be doing around the windows. Thank you. We're not changing the size. Um, it's 20 windows that are being changed in total. Um, no, no sizes are being changed at all. They're all as they are. But just the addition of some gridding in between. You notice know black sashes or sashes on any other houses in the... So there are, there's a couple of houses that's actually one that's two houses up that has a brownish type window. Um, there's a porch that's right past the town hall here yep. that has black windows in it. Also, one of your businesses that's right next door has a black window with a black sash. Yep. Oops. Got it. Yep, I see. Thank you. It's consistent with others. Yep. There's nothing that says they can't paint them black. So. Well, if there, if there was, if there was another building in the village district with out black sashes, that'd be a little different story. But th th there are some here, so it is kind of consistent with those. Yeah. Can I ask a dumb question? Where is this our purview? Yeah. Twenty. Twenty-two point nine point one has nothing to do with this. That says old buildings should be preserved, and if new structures are built, never mind. Twenty-two point nine. I don't see how we it's... Did it before with, the gentleman. with the gentleman, he came in on his own and right. Yeah, change. Well, that one, that one says, to he be determined by the planning board. He wanted, case to, case basis. he wanted to change the color of his house, and it's yeah. nothing that nice. says he couldn't paint it the color he wanted. So, well, which kind of makes it our the fact that it's in the zoning kind of throws in planning board, doesn't it? Yeah. Plus, there's a statement on the bottom that says to be determined by the planning board on a case by case basis. Yeah. Yeah. So. And we didn't apply. I but mean, we got gotten the letter when we got here to go historic, and I'm like, no, I don't want to be restricted to yeah. <laughs> too much. So. Where's, where's it saying 22.9 that... Some, whatever article that Tony had given me, it was replacement in kind, um, is what he was, he was going on. But, I mean, there's only certain. two windows in the whole house that have the original... Um, fully. Well, These windows I mean, are actually. I, 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 I appreciate you coming in here. I don't have any problem with it. I'm just wondering. It's only a couple Why? with the original. Because <laughs> no, we were told we had to because yeah, we were in understood. Village District. And we currently have white windows with no painting in it for the most part. So it was 22.9 that you. was highlighted by the. By the Architectural uh, design of buildings. Yeah. 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 And it basically says, come here, show us. 
mm -hmm. you're trying to keep it. You can also get compatible. Other, other, other buildings in the village, in the center district, village district, with black yep. sashes and black windows. So, yeah, I think you're. And considering opinion, we're you're, not you're, changing any structure, we shouldn't right. even need a building permit for yeah, it. Yeah, no. Um, I don't think. I don't think you building need a building permit for a place touching windows. an opening. Usually, most towns are when it's touching any opening, even if it's like for like some towns require us to pull permits. So, yeah. the only thing I could see if you did the sliding, you may have to pull permit to change this. The vinyl side, but that's just nothing. Right. Changing one for the other, replacement. The FYI of the vinyl siding, I mean, we've allowed that too. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I just wanted to get that out on, of the on, way tonight. You know, on, thinking on more than one occasion. Thinking yeah. ahead. So. I mean, Harry, okay. whether we're building down there, we have the okay. vinyl siding on. Okay. Okay. It's same same district. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good to know. That keeps Thumbs us. Up. As far as I'm concerned. Yep. I'm good. Since it's up to, since it says to be determined by the planning board, I guess we've got to make a motion. A motion and vote. So who's going to make the motion? I'll make a motion. We allow the window upgrade to be black frames and sashes as proposed by the. How about a second? Second. Discussion. Even, even she's asked to include the vinyl siding and one stair coming down. Correct. And. I second that. Final siding of a similar profile to the existing siding. Yeah. And you seconded it. Correct. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Have a good night. Thank, Thank you, you all very so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Can, can you write down your cell phone number so next time I get locked <laughs> out of here, I can, <laughs> I can call you up <laughs> and have you let me in? I can do his call. Jack around the back line last. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a good yeah, night. I can't get in, but they're still calling me for power outages at the stove <laughs> building at 2 in the morning. They're still on the call list for that. I get three calls on that during the snowstorm. The power is out at the stone building. Yeah, so what do you want me to do? The power is out at my house. <laughs> so I have a question about this. Even though the, the design issue is addressed here, this isn't technically a historic overlay. No, it's a village district. Yeah. Right. So no, it's if it's... Not a historic overlay. So there's no parameters pertaining to color, no parameters at all, other than what we... Not like a historic district. It right. says, shall be architecturally compatible with the historic building details in those districts. Right. So if, so if it kind of matches, if there's other buildings... So how does that, how does that, did that, did this issue get addressed when the new middle school was built? It didn't, yeah. they're exempt. School's exempt. Town's okay. exempt yeah, from our building. own, <laughs> town is exempt from our own regulations. So, you know, another interesting thing is the West End of store. I mean, if that flew any other... Well, the old schoolhouse has a black and yellow color scheme yep. by me yeah and right. that didn't come to us so it's oh the little one yeah the old river, riverside school yeah, yeah. next item on the agenda is pine island realty llc yeah we have an email they asked for an extension Uh -huh. To be till the end of May, yeah, right. something like that. I th Plus, the I snow's they, out they, there. What are you gonna do? I thought you find someone to go look at. I thought they were working anyway. I go by there the other day. It's all dug out and everything. They're working. Roads plowed. I yeah, but, day you could come up and but I thought we the last time, the term, one of the last times we were in, they said not to. Further with the application, just come and apply after they do the research. Well, I think the attorney is probably doing a quiet title. That's why he needs more yeah. information. He's taking them. I thought he would be taking his advice. application yeah. before right. well, bringing it back in again. But the only problem I have with continuing him two more months is I was really hoping he'd come in and clean up what he's done because he doesn't have a SWIP permit, he doesn't have a shoreland permit, and therefore he needs an AOT permit. He doesn't have any of those, to my knowledge. Well, what do you want to tell him back? You'll 
I went in. I don't know how he's going to clean it up without getting a permit. What do you want me to do with that? I'd like him to submit the status of his, of his state required permits. State and EPA. Yeah. Tony said something to him one time like a year ago about it before he applied. I would just like to, I think we should let him know that the board thinks he should, if the board agrees with me, should make sure he's not within 250 feet of Daniels Lake, which is governed by an elevation, not by the high water mark. Because if he's within 250 feet, he needs a shoreland permit. If he's within 250 feet and disturbs more than 50,000 square feet, he needs an alteration train permit. I didn't take shoreland in school, so. Pardon me? I didn't take shoreland in school, so I'm trying. <laughs> if he has disturbed ground within 250 feet of the shore of Daniels it's Lake. Like it's what did you say? The it's uh, it's covered has an elevation to it. I don't I don't know what it is, but there is an elevation that uh, determines a high water mark. The reference line is by a high, by an elevation. And then so if he if he disturbed anything within 250 feet of Daniels Lake. He needs a shoreland permit. If he's disturbed more than 50,000 square feet, and some of it is within 250 feet of Daniels Lake, he needs an alteration train permit. If he disturbed more than a, an acre, he needs a stormwater pollution prevention plan. Would that include because of the, the stream that probably comes down there close to the border of that lot? Oh, underneath 114 by the bridge, yeah. Yes, okay. the That's elevation. Does that come, does that, is that considered part of Daniel's Lake? Or from, is that from personal knowledge, yes, it goes the whole way up yes. to the road that crosses Bovers and the Bovers. That's yeah. where the elevation where it floods changes. floods all the time. Yes. <laughs> Into the swamp. Up behind all clear. Yes. So he needs to prove to you that he doesn't need a shoreline and AOT and a stormwater pollution? Four. Submit the permits. Or submit the permits. Yes. Yep. Right, but he needs to yep. prove to you that he doesn't need those. Yes. Or submit the permits. That's easier. Yes. That's what I was trying to write. Yes. <laughs> okay. Does the board agree? Yes. <laughs> I'll make a motion. Well, first we've got to open the hearing, and then, so I'm going to open the hearing, and then we're going to have to make a motion to continue it for two months till date certain, obviously. What, let's open the hearing. Before we do that, though, let's um, talk about these other permits. Then we'll continue it. Okay, I thought we just did. Anyway, it's open. I've opened a hearing for the Pine Island Realty Trust. <coughs> so we have a request for a two-month extension. Yes, we they, do. They've already been extended for three months? I believe it was two months, of one month the first time, then two more, and now two more. Yes. Yep. Then we put it on the 25th of May. Yes. And they haven't submitted anything other than requests for extensions. <coughs> They've submitted a right to no request to us looking for information on the cemetery. Okay. It was while I was gone, I had another issue. So I haven't gotten all the information from downstairs yet. That's why. Yeah, it's supposed to be here tonight, but I didn't get a chance to do it. Okay. The, um, and they're, they're actively doing something in there. Yes, they're actively doing something. Yeah. You see excavators, like I said, when I went by yesterday, you can see they've been, they've plowed it, and they've been in there, and it looks like they grab, put some gravel in there. So yeah. they're actively doing something in there. I think we need to see their okay. permits. Right. How about if we, uh... Sorry. You can ask him to continue to fix it. Yeah. How about if we continue until April 13th and have him come in and talk about those other permits he may or may not need before we just plan continuum for two months? That's what I want to find out. Yeah. That's where to do it. To discuss um, permitting? 
Yeah, the, the, fe the fe various state and state federal, federal permits. permits. Yeah. So I move we grant the extension not two months, but only one month to April 13th. Well, it's not even one month, it's three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks to April 13th to discuss state and federal permitting. I'll second that. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? So he's got till 413. I didn't mean to take the phone on you, but the two gentlemen that were sitting here was for the uh, lot line adjustment. Yeah. And Tony talked to him because one of the lots is less than five acres, and he was making it more non-conforming instead of an equal swap. So he's asked where they pay the fees to continue it. He's going to submit a new plan for next month. That's Dan Higginson as the surveyor. So we just April 13th. He's submitting a new application or he's not? He's just going to put into a new plan. I have the application, but the plan makes one lot more and all before me. So then I'll open the lot line adjustment for William and Gina Stevens and Judith and Frank Richardson at 34 Dudley Brook Road and 8 Dudley Brook Road, tax map 103, 107, lot 3, and 404, lot 18 in the Ag Zone. And we have a request to be continued for a month. Make a motion we continue this until April 27th. Second. We have a second. <coughs> Chuck second. Chuck seconds. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. So by process of elimination, you have Jock here for two conceptuals, one on Colby Road and one on Edmonton. No, I don't. Jock just left. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's getting his, he's getting his digital <laughs> aids. <laughs> right, let's start with Emerson Turnpike. So, Emerson Turnpike. Yeah, it's a private, sorry, I, a private uh, of, um, I heard about this. Yeah, I think I talked to the board last fall about it. And, um, no problem with that, but that's okay. At the, at the, at the, at the, at the, So it's like where this existing garage is here, yeah. like that, that's where the road is. That's pretty much where it's starting here. Yeah, it's accessible. You can drive up the top of it. They have a lot landing up there. Um, there's an old uh, foundation. Um, it's a little too muddy to get up there right now, but um, it, it is passable. But the last uh, last guy up there uh, is where the maintenance kind of stops. And from what we can see everywhere, it's about 25 feet wide, checked up and down the road. There's a, a series of houses. That Oh, six houses on it? This is day one, uh, four houses. Now, and uh, they take care of it amongst themselves. What uh, Dave is looking to do is, again, break off a 12-acre lot for his son. And just need some direction of where to go, what, uh, what to do. I assume we're going to zoning because we're on a uh, private road. We're going to have to go 
the fireworks. Take a look at it. <clears throat> and lot already has zero furniture on a classic trailer. Class five road, right? It's a fiber road. Yeah, it's not even class. So it said it has zero furniture on a class five road. Okay, you're right. <laughs> yep. Zero. As do the four before it. Right. <clears throat> Are you planning on doing any improvements to the road up to that last house? Well, I guess we're looking for some input from the board. I'd like not to. Um, <laughs> it, it, you know, it's passable. They, they get up there, get by just fine now. Um, but you're adding one more house to it. Um, well, I was just going to say, I mean, worst case scenario, we've got to at least think of... We've got to think about <coughs> fire trucks passing and all that it's kind of stuff. It's a pretty wide road that's existing that they have. Uh, it's big stuff right now. looking as far as like gravel and they can have access to it. You know, it's muddy. It's and gravel and they've recently put over um, ground asphalt over the top of that oh. and rolled that. How far up past the last house is this a lot? About 550 feet. About 550 feet. Yeah, that to get to the, to the lot line. So. Yeah, the next 550 feet, that <coughs> would have to be <laughs> Whatever the board. Actually, we need a variance for that. Yep. We need two variances, right? One for using a private road and one for subdividing on yep. a private road. And one for building on a private road. Yep. When he gets there. Yeah. Yeah, once you get the world improvements done, then they can give you the permit to build. How long is the road from the river road? Yeah, yeah. that I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. It's a bit of a, a distance. It's a poke. It's got to be a couple thousand feet, is it? Or maybe not that far. We got that. We <laughs> got that. Yeah. yeah. So we so haven't gotten that far yet, though. Well, we're so not that starting point. We're getting there. So we're not even there. I don't know where it is. I just have it in my hand. Who knows? I'm going to ask you. Yeah, I think it's probably around 1,500 feet. Maybe you know, 17, 18, but that's, that's pushing it. It's a very <coughs> So what's your questions? What are we going to do with the board? You want the subdivision on the front row. Just the question. How does it do it? I, I did talk to Tony. He said to come talk to planning. I'm going to think you got to go to the ZBA. Well, he's got to go to the ZBA, yeah. I, I was told to come to the planning first, get direction to the ZBA. Yeah. You can use that Emerson Turnpike. I actually looked at your deed, and it says yes, you can use the Emerson Turnpike, and it's twenty-five. I think it said twenty-five feet wide. Indeed, I believe so. That's where we go. How are you going to fit any kind of a? Twenty-five is tight. Yeah, yes, it is. If you're going to have a, and you know, there's walls in there too. Right. It's, it's not like it's open. I see, that. Like, I see walls, yes. It's only 25 feet of road. I mean, no, no. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's one lane and walls in a ditch. I would think... Who owns Emerson Turnpike? That was my next question. That doesn't, that doesn't really matter. Really know. <laughs> kind mean, of in the gray area. Some say way back when that I own half and the Mathesons, Tim Matheson owns half. That, that's what we've always assumed over the last 50, 75 years, whatever, you know. How wide is the driveway below that garage? Uh, the road itself. Okay, road, driveway. Uh, sure, road. Yeah, basically, it's a driveway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. I mean, Pri private driveway. Private road. Private road. What um, scale are we? 50, 40. Used to the wow, you even brought a scooter. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just can't use it. Can't sit down. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I can't either. There we go. Fifteen feet wide? It's it's not it's narrow. And, and honestly, we've never seen it without snow. Fifteen feet. <clears throat> what? It's 
fairly wide when the snow when there's no snow there. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's not travel part of it this wide. Right? Well, it, it becomes a maintenance. It's plowing wide now. Where's yeah, the wrong? That's a well, down here. Oh, down there. Yeah. <coughs> so it scales about. Didn't make it. Twelve, about fifteen feet. feet. Away. This is so because it's much wider down towards right? the yep. bottom than it is the further you go up. The walls scale about thirty. Two. Isn't that, isn't that a strange number for walls? So I would, I would think worst case, and I'm not saying that I would go for this, I'm not saying the zoning board should go for it. But I think you're going to have to get grades under 10% from River Road. The whole run? I think so. The whole thing would have to be upgraded. Is that what you're saying? I don't. I don't know what the NFPA rest of the standards are. Ten percent. No, it's it's existing con condition up there. Existing situation. I can't help that. No. You're making an existing condition more non-conforming by adding more. Plus, by adding that, they have to meet the, what, the road width requirements. Well, even if you get, even if you stick with the driveway width requirements, you got to go 16 feet yeah. all clear. And I think every six or eight hundred feet, you got to have a place for a fire truck to pull off. Yeah, have a turn off so they can meet. And so a fire truck can go by them? Yeah, I thought it was 400. I, I, I'm guessing. I, yeah. I can tell I you that. every 500. But. You, did on, you did on Mulgrove for, uh, did you thought it was 400? I thought it was 600. He thought it was 500? I thought yeah, it was 5. I'm thinking it's 4, too. Maybe it's 11. Yeah, who knows? No, I think it's 4, too. Maybe it's 2,000. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. All right, so we're looking at full outs. And, I mean, pull outs, but they're wide spots in the road, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Enough, truck doesn't have the nose in. Just You're talking yeah, yeah. 50 yeah. foot long pull out. Right. Yep. <clears throat> that must be it. Nope. This isn't going to have it. You must own the right side of that road all the way up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Do you think Tim owns the left side all the way up? Um, yeah, well, they've subdivided. Zeb Matheson used to when he subdivided out lots on the left-hand side going up. That's where the home is built. So, so which one was the last one to be sold? Probably well, they haven't sold. They're all in the family. The last one is the very last house. The one that Zeb owned? The um, not Matheson owned it, he passed yep. away, Russell owned it, yep. and then he sold it to um, his niece. Yeah. If the driveway is over 800 feet long, it has to have a pull off. 400 feet. Okay. It must be 50 feet long and create a travel width of 20 feet at the... I mean, when he created the lots, he must have gone to the stone wall with the lot lines, right? Yeah, that's what we're seeing. So probably the the last one he owned that still owns the last one. I'm trying to think which one owned the own half the road. You think it's all of them or just matter. the last? No, Tim. I believe the Mathesons itself. They were not. It was not deeded out to the road. It was deeded to just the wall. Yeah, so it'd be the walls with just that strip of land in front of them. It, realistically, it's what's left over. Or you go the old boundary law principle that any if you mention the road it goes to center line. And it doesn't matter who owns the road anyway. You have an easement over it, so you yeah, can but, do whatever you want to. Yeah, but if it's only twenty five feet. Well, yeah, that's the issue right that's there. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to think. If he needed to make it get the easement bigger, how would he how would he go about it? So you're saying that I think that we need to widen that road the whole distance is what you what you're saying? Up until you have to put the, the next house in. Beyond that, you don't have to. You don't have to do it right to the cul-de-sac, Jack. What's that? You have to do it right to the cul-de-sac. We don't need a cul-de-sac. No. You can have a no. hammerhead we, we, or a tear. Whatever, Jack, whatever they come up with. Well, I, thought, right I thought on the private there. road that we, just, we went through before, that as long as they did it, and we just did it on a Class 6 road, to the Salkman one, I can look at Jewett Road on the other end, um, out by Farron Pond, that they had to just widen it and keep it up to specs up until you get to by where, just beyond the way that house was that they put in. And then other than that, they didn't have to do anymore because they weren't going to be using it. 
Well, yeah, but in this case, he's using the whole thing, 2,000 feet or whatever it is. You're going to use the whole thing? That whole road's going to yeah. be... Well, it's his access to the it's lot. It's the only last. access to get in. Yeah, okay. The so then, yeah, then you'll have to make it spec all the way to the end with either a ham or hand, or like you said, or... When, when you so you're trying to say that I can't subdivide unless I build that into a town road? Well. Is that what you're saying? The specs they have to bring it up to class five. With, without a variance, yes. yes. To be blunt, yes. But that's why you need a variance. Then I might as well put in 40 houses then. If I'm going to build the road. Well, then there's a specs on private roads about putting subdivisions into them. So. I'll subdivide the whole thing up into house lots. Well, one option you do have, Dave, is... All we want to do is build my son a house at the top of the hill. I understand. Been paying taxes on that land for 80 years. As a lot. And you can still use it as a lot. Right. And all it needs is a lot for him to build at the top. Yeah, but you're changing it by doing that. Right, you're changing the use of the lot. Yeah, I'm going right. to... Yeah, you know, what am I supposed to do? Just hold on to that land until the day I die? Not <laughs> do anything with it? Mm. You know? I, I'm sorry, so I thought I heard you say if you got a variance, you wouldn't have to do that. Did I did I understand you correctly? If you got a variance, you would not have to make it a town road. The question is, well, what standard would it have to be built to? Okay. That's the huge 99. So you can't leave it just the way that they have and me and my next section to my son's lot, 550, change it, change that. If I was king, no, but I'm not king. <laughs> we, we can't tell you you can do that. All, all we can... I mean, we, because it doesn't meet zoning requirements. And, and we knew it didn't meet zoning requirements. That's why we're here, is to get some direction. Right, so, guys. Yeah. Yeah. so that's why you need to go to the ZBA if you don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's just the road update, upgrade. We're talking. Yes, you need two. You, you need yeah, but you need. You don't have frontage on a class five road. Correct. So you need a variance for that. Correct. You need a variance to use the private road. To access. So we need a variance to subdivide. A variance for access or to, for a building permit. Right. Correct. You're yeah, probably still going to have to do work to the road. Well, that, that's up to the zoning board, Jack. Yeah, so, yeah, I know, but it's I mean, not. We, us, that's not. No, that's not a decision. I mean, we'll get a choice. No, but we've passed some of that in our regulations, too, for private roads. Didn't we just go through that a while back? When he does the building permit part, yes. we can make recommendations to selectmen before the selectmen grant them the permission to use the private road. Yeah. So we need the two variances. We need to basically, just a sub we need a variance just to subdivide. Right. First of all, just to create a lot, we need a variance. Right. Then for the building permit, you need a second variance to build on a, on a, a private road. Right. And then when he pulls his building permit, he, he needs permission from the selectman to improve the, to use it, to use it. But who's going to govern over Im improvements? That, there's a chart for that. Yeah. Sorry. Technically, the selectman, but they're supposed to ask us for recommendations. And the, and the road agent, probably. And the road agent, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fire awards, the board of fire awards, because of the turnout. Right. They're going to be have to be involved. Okay. But how steep is that road? No, well, cool. I think this is the worst part. I mean, this part. Oh, down, down there? there? Yeah. I, I think this is the steepest part from the last garage up to you all in. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. 13. Yeah, you got a little 13 foot stretch. Yeah, it's not too much. Right in front of that garage. Mm -hmm. 12.8 12, 12 in the very beginning of the profile. You need about 50 feet of a 13.2 percent pit. Yeah, 13.2 can be. So I admit that upper section does need a lot of, of road work. Dave, um, the existing garage. Pardon? I'm, I wanted to ask you the the existing garage. You're you're, you're familiar yeah. with it. You own this lot. You own this lot, don't you? I own the lot on the right hand side across from the. Existing garage. Okay, so it's that nice wall. You know, what, you know, if push comes to shove, you probably save a lot of money if you had your son build a house down in here. If, if well, you can't. You're still going to have to upgrade the road. Yeah, but you're not. You're from, not. Not this section. Oh, I know that. 
But that's right in the middle of my pasture, and we were trying to get up towards the top of the well, hill. still pasturing that? Yes, it's yeah. still all pasture on the right-hand side. I still have the cows and the horses out how, there. How big is this lot? 25 hmm. acres. Just like 25. That's a nice lot. And the other one at the top of the hill is 50. And you got another field here? Um, there's just a landing area at the top, right up here. Right. It's a large grassy right here, and this is all field right, right. here. Right, yeah, right. This is all field all the way down through. Nice, but nice, I don't nice. own down to the very bottom by the road because there's another house. It used mm -hmm. to be Kenny Nelson's house. Nancy. I'm not sure what her last name is. Christian, I believe it is. Or the last place in the road. My suggestion would be to find out what to draw a profile of the whole road, A, and then go to Board of Fire Wards because you're going to have, if you can't get uh, more than likely, if you get the variance. I can't say that. I'm not going to say that. I don't want to try that. I don't want my what I say to influence the zoning board or what we say to influence the zoning board. I would go to the, I would go to the board of fire wards first, and show them what you got because no matter what, you're going to have to have their approval. The ZBA should certainly seek their input, and I know the selectmen <laughs> and the planning board will certainly seek their input. Well, you can wait till next March, and we'll be able to fire once. Could be that too. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Yeah, next <laughs> March, and all done. Yeah. They're probably going to be like lame ducks until then. I don't know. Then I would go to the zoning board. Fire wards get input from the fire. Department. I mean, they they got it. They got to. They're going to have to. Yeah. yeah. You're going to have to get around NFPA requirements to get up there. Mm -hmm. And NFPA is going to require 12 foot wide, 16 foot clear. Some trail lifts up there, but you probably already have that. Trail? I have no idea. It's got the width. The, the 16 foot. <laughs> Trim out some branches, and you probably got it. Well, I'm not sure. Yeah, I have There's a telephone pole here. I'm, I'm talking about this part. Yeah, the rest it of looks it. like the last one. Oh. Oh. Expensive operation, um, right? Yeah. All right. So start with the fire wards. They still meet once a month, or well, they sold enough lots. Which I'm sure they, they, they just met second, the, Monday. second Monday of the month. Yeah. On the other ones that I've seen, the zoning board has issued a, saying that the class six road or whatever has to be upgraded to meet the driveway specs. The bad thing about that is the driveway specs say nothing about the base. We're going to so, how many lots do you have that are, that touch each other there, Dave? Pardon? How many lots do you have there that touch each other? Two, currently. I have two lots. Yes, I have one on the right, a 25 acre parcel, <clears throat> and then I have um, four. It's 49 point something at the very top. Just something to think about. If you did some kind of a lot line adjustment, still had two lots when you're done. Yeah, but he wants to save his field. I know. And he wants to get up here. He could. He could put his house over here, do a lot line adjustment right to here, all the way have this all one big lot, and do something else over there. And just change it, and you still need to build this road to get there for a minute. Right. No, but but he doesn't need, a va doesn't need a variance to subdivide then. Right. We still want oh, just a lot line adjustment. Just a thought. So what were you saying, Zach? Do you mind if I come up? Yeah, come on up. Well, an adjustment where this, no. He wants the house here, not here. You'd have to move the house over here. If you put the house here, you could do a lot line adjustment and make this area part of this lot. And have this lot left over. There's still, still that original lot, but it's smaller. Yeah, because this lot... This, this lot is all still, yes, that's all of the 49 acre parcel. Right. So instead of that, you take this line and make this part of this lot. So you still own two lots. And this lot would be standing by itself, and then this would all be one big lot. I assume you're talking about that lot and that lot. Yeah, because uh, exactly. So you just, so, so you, you want to do a lot, I think I should so do just, a lot. Well, an adjustment where that becomes part of this. <laughs> Yeah, but it solves his 
variant on don't need to do subdividing something. on it, right. not having any furniture. That, that's fine. You're still going to get up there to build. It's still going to get up there to build. Oh, yeah, yeah, you still have to yeah. do it, even yeah. if because you still have two lots still have done. to bring the road up. Oh, yeah, but you don't need a variant for, for no frontage on a class six road for subdivision. Which is going to be, I think, the heart of the variant. That's going to be class five. That's going to be a difficult, I would hope, <laughs> difficult variance to get. You know what I mean? Well, difficulty here. Yeah. Well, that's a lot like adjustment. We're talking about difficulty. Pardon me? So we know lots about difficulty. Oh, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. You're just swapping a line around. That's right. just so you're not creating another lot, so you don't need, to, don't need a variance. Yeah. Um, you know, he's to, yeah, we were just trying to get it so that this is, because he, he would have a view from here down across the fields, and the house would be right, right beside the fields, the pasture fields. Because I know the Mathesons originally their parcel over here, I believe there's one other lot that has been subdivided here that eventually they planned on, but the one of the sons he never did build the last one right there. I think they just looped around all the other ones in the front. According to the tax map, just kind of goes back down the railroad. Um, it's just, I guess it's something we could discuss, and, but we're still gonna still need a variance to build on a. On a um, private road. Private road, and there's still the up, upgrade issue of a private road. Yes. What firewood says so, so turn it on. All right. So we should visit with firewood first. I can talk to David about the possibility of doing that. Um, okay. And what about direction on the road, on the improvements to the road? That's Lecton's office. You said it's uh, the ZBA is going to weigh in on that too because that's where you're going to go first. So we start at ZBA still. Yeah. Well, yes. Second stop. No, well, the only reason I say say firewoods first is because that's going to be your. They're going to be the driving force the, on what you have to do. The NFPA is going to be your driving force. Yes. I know that the NFPA says ten percent. But the fire wards are allowed to waive that. Yeah, they, they can go up to. Where's the? the, the I think it's fifteen. Only one little section. Right yeah, yeah. twelve, like oh, right there. Twenty-five and thirty, like fifty. 50. I think they can go up to 50 fifty-five percent. feet or something. Where it's mm -hmm. steep. See, I can change on the upper half. We can change the. And it looks like he's got room. This is six point eight. This is nine point five. You know I what think I mean? He could probably because what it is over the the grades that they're running right now is over the past. 50 years, that upper half of the road is eroded down and washed down three feet lower than it originally was. You know, it was three feet yep. higher. That, that could kind of be tweaked and reshaped and come. It, it looks like yeah. it's a like give and take to yeah. that section. But that could be brought Yeah, it's not like you're 10% to it and 10% after it. You get some. Yeah, dips. Yeah. Yeah, rises and dips. Because we figured we'd have to <clears throat> fill that all in. You know, you've got to. All right. Yeah, I, I think the turnaround is going to be an issue, and so is the, the pull off, I should say. Yeah. I can make those happen. Wow, it's going to be pretty tight to have a 20 foot pull off and 25 foot oh, right away. Dave owns. And again, I own that property on the right hand side. Every 400 feet. Yep. From there to here. But you didn't own this. Can make it happen. Okay. That can be done. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Want these back Thank you. Thank you. Take yourself some. You want these? Uh, we might want them. You want two? <laughs> <laughs> I throw, I, I throw a lot of paper away, too. So. Yeah. I made eight prints because I had all these people come in for a meeting. Yeah, only needed two. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> The wetland scientist, me, the owner, the owner's buyer, the epidemic, epi the farmer. So I made all these prints. The owner called up, well, Bo's an assistant fireman, so he just got called out to a fire. I'm getting a, some kind of infusion done for my cancer treatment. So we're just going to do this by phone. Is that okay? <laughs> Let me call you back when the wetland scientist gets here. But yeah, that's all right.
Who is this next one? Are you ready? No. You'll be right and take notes and such. Okay, I'm ready. All right, What's next? Next one should be easy, right? Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. This is on Colin Road. And the plans are awful hard to read. So I tried coloring up a little bit. Paved road. Yep. yep. Okay, so we meet that requirement. Fun to uh, but we do have uh, slugger wetlands on this property. Yeah, you do. Um, uh, right off the bat, we're going to have to cross in the front. And this one here, we'll probably have to cross this one. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, but we came here because we're going to have to go to zoning to um, uh, work within the, uh, the buffer, the 25 foot buffer. So we're going to have to get a variance for that. Go to wetlands board to get uh, our crossings. There's no other way access to this lot except for coming into that way. This lot is both steep and wet. Not so much on this end, more wet on this end, steep in the back. So yeah, Hughes, Hughes Brook is down here somewhere. Yeah, way down still. <clears throat> so is this. How far up Colby Road is it? What? I'm telling you. Is this Jim Dow's property? Yes. Okay. Sure. I know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen my plans around this, haven't you? <laughs> Where's Brookshire? Here. That's Brookshire. Yep. That's Durgan's. That's Jim Dow's. So this no, is Jim Dow's. So this is a bunch of open space of Brookshire. This the open space of Brookshire all right here, right? This is the open space of Brookshire. This is the open space of Durgan, which the subdivision is no longer valid. Right, right. So this is the open space. Yeah, okay. This is Jim Dow. I'm sorry, yeah. not that, that. So this one here, I think the only thing we need from zoning, I think, is just to work in the wetlands buffer. The buffer. And the wetland right. permit. Right. Yeah, and the wetlands permit. I'm going to ask what these cross hatching are. Is out of curiosity. I think this steep slope's a ledge. Okay. You think? I, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I understand I those, completely. These stupid wetland well hatches, and I keep turning them off, and whoever works in the drawing last turns them back on. No, it could be a ledge. Them next. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah these, but he's showing buffers yeah, around them, so I think they're wetlands. Yeah, a little, little too full. You don't need buffers around ledge, so yeah, it's probably all wetlands. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a lot of wetlands out there. Somebody was in years ago with the same problem, same lot. The same lot? Yeah, it was a long, long time ago. I recall it. I guess they didn't do anything. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. I remember Durgan, but I don't remember that one. This one. I. The only thing I can see is you need a you need a wetland crossing and variance for the buffer. You get the wetland permit, the variant should be simple. It should. I shouldn't speak for the board, but it should be. Uh, the only thing else, you're going you're to need a shared driveway agreement, obviously. Yeah, common driveway agreement. Got one of those. I mean, yeah. way, way across that one by the road, looks like about the narrowest spot you can cross it, so that... Yeah, it's not the best grade-wise. Uh, they actually cross it for the logging. You know, of course, they kind of left that in place, but it's, it's more impact, so we're, we're looking at... Um, the narrowest, less impact. Well, is it that, uh, what, just a culvert will solve that problem? Hopefully just a culvert, yeah. yeah. For your driveway easements, do you guys have a width you like? I think I use 40 on that one. Forties, plenty. Yeah. yeah, not not. I'm just talking about the easement. Yeah, just in yeah. case. I think it's, a, it's like that. at thirty. Is what not the regulations say at the at the opening. 
If they build in the right place, 25 is okay with me. Yeah. Then you got to make sure they build in the right place. Yeah, yeah and they have 200 feet of <laughs> fuel and all that. Well, it's the same thing. Yeah. This is over, I think it's over 400 feet, so we're going to get a Pull out. Yeah, yeah you pull out someplace yeah, in here, yeah. another one back in here, and I'll turn around someplace, back. turn around over there someplace. Two lots. No, they're going to make it two lots. Right now it's one. Yeah. Right, that's what that's what he's trying to do is make it two lots. The entrance of There's nothing the out there now. No, no, for that. No, no. Okay. No buildings. Fewer trees. Looks like another one. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is pretty much junk. But he's got a nice spot here, a nice spot here. Why would you want two lots? Just because you're here. I don't have any problems. <clears throat> Anybody else have any issues? No. Questions? What are all these reboards for? I think they're trees. I think it's a little too small. Rebars, I don't know. I think I do. It was Durgan. They didn't have a Bedford design cap on him, did they? <laughs> Good. <laughs> 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 did they have a tr true engineering cap on him? I don't believe so. Okay. They, they didn't just the okay. I don't have any issues. That's all I see. Anybody else? Nobody saying anything. Nope. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 No issues part. What's that? No issues part. Most importantly, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna steal the plans. So we have no record of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, so I guess we won't see you for a couple months anyway. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what your workload is. Well, I mean, by the time we go through everybody else, yes, I got you. Well, that one at least. Yeah, I'm either one of them, yeah. Yeah. There's no sense in making our application here until we get that weapons crossing. No. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. So what else we got, Naomi? Yes. Did that get grant? Did that get um, approved? approved? Think I should read? Or we should, we should no, read? It it's not committing us. I mean, I think it's us to commit to work for that. Right? That was my concern, was to be so committed to work with. What we submitted said where can pick their own. It's indicated several times today. Yeah. You can pick from their list or you can pick your own. Right. What's the WMPUC? Date committee. We have such a thing? No, yeah, but you, uh, have one. you have to create one as part of this grant. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or somebody does. Well, I know how to. So, March to August, we are to be data collection by Ware's chosen consultant. March to August? Yes. So, we got to find somebody. Yes. I haven't signed and sent that back yet either. So. Is it with Mark? Yeah. I would certainly like a 
a second opinion. <laughs> What's the word I want? Request for qualifications? Yeah. Or proposal? Do we have so, a list of... So we can either you have a pick someone or we can pick someone from their list or Southern New Hampshire planning. We'll do it. I don't know if they submitted us with a list of people that do it. You have a list in your head. I got a list of my cell phone, too, because I actually uh, put a little feeler out there to see who does this kind of stuff about three months ago. There's somebody in Plymouth that was recommended. I don't remember his name right now. Mark Fougere was recommended. And the other one was Southern New Hampshire Planning Commission. So really by... May, geez. We're looking at this scope of work thing. We have to have some. We have to data collection between now and March. August. Yeah, sorry, I was already reading down here. <laughs> between March and August, twenty-three. Then the community engagement starts from March until July 24. Meetings with us between now and December 24. Sounds like you're going to find somebody pretty quick. Yep. So if you're going to go with somebody else, you're going to put out send them an RFP. Well, we, we can do that, but... All of the dollar figures are in here, and that's what the money is. I is. know, I mean, to get these people outside. Sure. So they sure. have a different price, you know. Right, and we don't have the funds for that, right? So, that's so if we're going to look for someone else, it's not a request for a proposal. It's can you work within the scope of this grant? Mm -hmm. um, and Southern New Hampshire has a list of people to, that are available to do this, or we can pick our own. But it's not an RFP process. With this grant, why can't we submit? An, why, why can't we ask for RFPs? We can. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got to be looking for someone who can work for these oh, figures, right? Oh yeah. Right? Come within that right. criteria, then okay, they don't. Yeah, if they don't come in with it's twenty-five like grand. They're going to get the job. I mean, you can do that with any RFP. It's not in your yeah. budget. You say How, we, we want and this and work. looking yeah. at the time frame here, what's the what's the t how timely is an RFP process? I don't know. What's the usual opening and closing? Parameters. Get, if we give them a week, notify them and give them a week to submit us a proposal. Well, yeah, but yes and no. If they've done this type of work before, then they probably will anyway. Where does it say in here what chapters we're revising? I'm looking at the one that's. Um, that was submitted that still has some things highlighted, but uh, I think that's to be determined by the. No, because we had a list of what we wanted in there. Here we go. And they came back and said, you can't do this section and that section. It's a, I see here, I don't have any page numbers because this is the one that you sent that was submitted. I don't, I don't have the final. But it says, where's chosen consultant with guidance from where master plan update committee? It says chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5, 6, 7, 11, and 12 would be the ones that are the updated master plan chapters. Which ones? Chapter 2, regional setting. Chapter 3, Community Vision, Goals and Objectives. Chapter 4, Population and Demographic Trends. Chapter 5, Housing. Chapter 6, Economic Development. 7, Community Facilities. 11, Existing and Future Land Use. And 12, Implementation Strategies. Those are the ones that are synthesis of input and updated master plan chapters in the copy that I have of the grant that was submitted for Grant application. So we had to knock out a couple of chapters, Naomi? We had to knock out a couple of chapters out of that list? Yeah, I was trying to find it. 
I mean, it sounds like it's designed to get something on next year's warrant. No. Oh, no, no. Nothing goes in a warrant. This is a, there's more grant money that can be applied for. Once we get that part done, we'll figure out where to go from there. Yeah, this is just to update the top, the um, master plan related to housing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we I thought they said that wasn't necessarily I know, right? I don't know. They said, yeah, but then they, we don't really have to do that, I don't believe. That's what we have to use this money for. That's yeah. what we have to use the money for, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Update the master plan. If it gets a for the specified grant, you have to use that, you know, whatever the grant specifies, that's what you use the money for. Well, certain chapters of the, not all of them, not the entire well, master plan. Yeah, so here at the very top of this, and I don't know if you've got this, what your, you, the copy you have says this, enclosed plea find the town of Ware's application for a needs analysis and planning grant, uh, supporting an update to the 05 Ware master plan to identify sections that are related to or impact upon housing development and drafting revisions to those master plan sections. That's what the, the intro to this says this is for. Oh, and also conduct successful community engagement to support the development and adoption of master plan revisions. Well, we've got to give a monthly reports. That's interesting. I think the person who's doing this does the monthly yeah. reports. Yeah. yeah. So does the planning board chairman appoint this master plan committee? Yes. I can do that. <laughs> you volunteering? No. I'm assuming it's kind of step one of this whole thing, isn't it? Other than sign the thing. I think step one is going to be getting a consultant. Yeah. It doesn't say anywhere in here that I can see about what chapters <laughs> we're working on. Yours doesn't? No. Okay. Because no, that's the one thing. This is what was sent, what's sent back. This, this is the grant agreement. This is the grant, grant agreement. It doesn't. Mm. I know they remember they came back once and asked Naomi to get rid of a couple chapters and she had to resign it. That was the final application that was sent? Yeah, I don't think that's the final application. Though. No, that's no. the first. Yours is first. This is what I got. I printed out when Naomi said, hey, this has to be done by the by tomorrow, close of business. Right. Uh, you guys have to take up your meeting today. That's what I have. I didn't see what uh, back and forth resulted in. Because they were willing, the committee was willing to tell us, hey, you're, here's where your grant application it may be deficient. Right. So uh, I'm assuming That's there was nice. some back and forth with Naomi at that point. Drug free workplace? Supposed to be. <laughs> Time wall count? I don't know. Looks like a bunch of crap to me. The oil plate, yeah. Yeah, debarment, suspension, right to cancel, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to discriminate. Doesn't say anything about it, right? What we've been. I guess we need a copy of the signed application, Naomi, Dan. I don't have it with me. I'm trying to find it. Okay. That way we know what exactly what was applied for, right?
or any of that signed application to send it with the RFP, so we could, they know what we apply for, too, because this really doesn't. I was thinking about finding out what chapters we have and submitting that with the RFP. Tell them we have. Yeah, but we got to know which chapters. Well, right. right. Yeah. But once we know what chapters, we can say, send this to them along with that mm -hmm. and say, hey, cross out some grant money. <coughs> so we just want to get three, send this out to three people, or what do we think? Well, as far as trying to find a consultant. It was telling policy on that. Our yeah. policy is three. Yeah. But if you can't get any response, then you just give them a time frame. If you don't, you go with what you get. I'd like Are any of the people that you have in mind on the Southern New Hampshire Planning Committee's list of people available? Mark Fusier is by himself, a guy in Plymouth by himself, and then the Southern New Hampshire Planning Commission was my third. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they have a list of people separately, not Southern New Hampshire Planning Commission people, but they have a list of people who could do this. Who's they? Southern New Hampshire Planning has oh, a, list a list of people, but not them. Mm. from which you may choose a person. And my question is, any of the people you have in mind, are they on that list? Yes, they are. Okay. I remember seeing that list early yeah. on. Yeah, they've done work a little bit probably yeah. on it. Because if you want them, one, one of those people, you can say, we want that person. You don't have to put out for RFP with this well, particular well, grant. That's what one of the town policy was. No, the town policy is three. This grant is outside the. Po this grant does not require that process. Um, I don't know about that. We've done grants before. We have to go out and get information from people. I mean, they, it, the other part of it is you run also. Oh yeah, okay. We're going to pick off that list. We're not available to do it. We're not available to do it. We're not available because they're involved in something else. So. I mean, the two people we're talking about would. Mark Fougier and the guy from Plymouth will. Even if they're on the list, a lot of these are private companies, so they may have other workload that they. Could, could Understood. Be could, could be 25 other towns already said, hey, yeah. I want you to do this. It depends on how many other people have been doing it. So, but the town policy says if you go outside to spend any money, you got to get. We're not spending the town's money. Yeah, That's the issue. No, it's, it, I don't think it, it is. It's going to be the town's money because it's coming to the town as a grant. It's not tax dollars. No. It's not townspeople tax dollars. No. And if you have, and, and you know, you're welcome to look at the Invest New Hampshire information and, and how they addressed not, not having to be uh, involved in the RFP process with this grant. I know any time we've ever got grant money before, like we got our money, we came before. Because you had, money. probably because the town had to kick in money and no, we don't no, have to kick in money, money here. We didn't have to kick any money in. I mean, well, either, to, either way, if the we town. We had a public hearing and we had to go out for people to do the work to get the business. If the town policy is three, yeah, I think we should still get three, whether it's our money or so somebody else's money. It's still tax money. It may not be ours directly, but it's tax money from someplace else. Grant money is tax money, whether it comes from the state or the feds. And sending out three is not a big deal. No. We don't have to take the little bit. Or that way we're covered. You're not going to have any type of... We, well, in. we can't keep any money that's left over, so what? No, what's so the we, point we of we having a low take, bidder? Right. The only reason to take the low bidder is if somebody is $24,900 and they're the low bidder then we better take them. <laughs> yeah. Because you're under one thing. Yeah. I mean, they're going to be able to see these dollar figures and say, sure, I'll do it for that. Why? Huh? Why are they going to see the dollar figures? I'm assuming that the grant, if it's been given, is now public knowledge. Yeah, Probably. It's involving government. Everything that involves government with money is public knowledge. I'm Salary. just uh, I'm just saying, why reinvent the wheel if we can go and someone on that list you have in mind is available? Well, again, you know, the other issue you run into is that it's always brought up in this, this town and other towns. Transparency, transparency, transparency. Yeah. And if we don't do it that way, then they think we're hiding something in some collusion. So let's just do it by the town policy and make it simple and no headaches. That's the last thing we need to do as far as, you know, it, it's been the cost, constant hue and cry here lately is that 
again, there's transparency in the bills are hiding something. Yeah, but where any money that the, it can be seen, and you know, I don't understand why. My my assumption with request for proposal is to find competitive bidding. Well, the, there is no competitive bidding. This is it. Well, it could be because they they don't know what what. They may not know what the grant allows for them to do the work. Or somebody may say, yeah, I'll do it for $30,000, and like you said, the next one's twenty four nine. Okay, you take the twenty four nine because that's within the scope of what we're going to allow to do that. That's the, you don't know. And, and the thing of it is, is that, again, if you just hand it to somebody, they'll say, oh, it was a buddy of somebody. I mean, that opens up that door. Why open the door? Why open Pandora's box if you don't have to? Well, to you know... <laughs> Yeah, we don't need to be criticized any more than we already are. Yeah, I mean, that's why I say three. I think it's not going to hurt anything to mail out three letters. No. So, three, you, three you're the one who needs to sign this, Naomi? What's that? You're the one who needs to sign this, I assume? Mm -hmm. I put my name on the paper. Yeah, so I saw that there. But I know there was concern about what the wording was as well. We okay with Naomi signing this? Pardon me? Are we okay with Naomi signing this? I haven't read it. I haven't, I haven't read it either. Of course, I'm not a voting member anyway, so. Do you have a PDF, Naomi? Did you send it to us, or is this? Yes, I can do that. Somebody asked me for the first month report. You can make a motion to give her the authority to sign it. Make a motion to give her the authority to sign it. What's the time frame? It'll be done by July 24. No, no for signing. Probably yesterday. Oh, it's twenty one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So the first month report is we're in the process of waiting. Yeah. So where did this go? Well, I, I'd like to read it. Uh, I think I'd like to move that we table signing that until we are able all to read it. The whole committee, a planning board. I will agree with that, but I think we need to send out a request for proposal. Before that. How do you, we don't how have you, to how any do you pick who to send it to? Them? Just draw them out of a hat, or do you have some? Uh, I've asked a couple. Uh, I asked Steve Keach for one, who he would recommend, and he recommended Mark Fougere and the guy in Plymouth, and I don't remember his name. Mm -hmm. And I've worked with Mark on uh, several other projects years ago, 15, 20 years ago. Do you I thought Milford. But it was a Milford. I think he's the guy that's doing their, because they got rid of their building inspector and tenants were hired the land use guy, and I think that's his name. There's another Fougere out there running around doing this kind of stuff, though. Okay. I thought it was Jonathan. Maybe. Mark was in Milford years ago, many years ago. Yeah, many years ago. They went out as well. Yeah. So you're going to go searching for someone before it's signed? Pardon me? Is that what you're suggesting? I'm suggesting we send it to those three people. Mark Fougere, wherever he is. The guy in Plymouth that I was Before or about. after it's signed? Before. Before. To get the ball rolling. Yeah, because they gave us a time limit. Well, we, can always, we, can always, we can always turn down all three. Well, what basis would you have for that? We don't have an agreement with the town. We, oh, did, no, we, we didn't sign the grant agreement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be, but by the time you sign it, they probably have the agreements coming back. Right. So. They, wouldn't, yeah. they wouldn't come in and, uh, before the board and... What is their? I was going to I was going to send them this. Yeah. With the numbers crossed out. Yeah. Meaning the prices, and this. And what's the what's the? Yeah, we need to send. I think the application too. What's their mission? To update the chapters that I'm going to tell them. That, that, we, we've, that we've identified and they, and in they the update it with input from who? The, the town. town. Everybody. So, everybody. so you're going to send out. Uh, that's all detailed. That's and, all those guys. It's all detail. Yeah. Well, I like to look it over. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. So what they're going to do is they're going to look at regional housing needs. They're going to look at um, demographics in town and housing growth over the last X number of years. They're going to look at, you know, anything that the planning board would have looked at when they did a master plan. This is what this person is going to do, but related to housing and the need for housing to come. Well, they're going to, they're going to hopefully, I'm sure they're going to reach out to this. Citizens. And yeah, a, yeah, that's a, the yeah. that's the where master that's plan update right committee. Right. That's that's ninety percent of the whole work. Yeah. Yes. Who wants to be on the committee? I do. I knew that. Anybody else? Chuck wants to be on the committee. Yeah. Okay. As Tom Paul, he did some work with some of the New Hampshire planning. He did some stuff with master planning before. Tom. Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was our representative to the Southern New Hampshire Planning. Yeah, he just quit that a little bit ago. A while ago, wasn't he? What? He should know if Tom's not doing that. He no, used to be. He was, wasn't he, at one time a while back? No. No, he's the rep now. Can, you know, I mean, can you send the application when you find it to him? Mm -hmm. hmm? I wouldn't ask Tom. <laughs> he's got a negative opinion about housing. I'm on the executive. So how many? Maybe Tom Carr. I mean, I had heard Chuck. And Tom Carr's retired. I was just questioning. I don't. I don't know. If we have more than three people here, it's going to be a planning board meeting. Then we can't. We'd have to advertise it and yabba dabba do. It's a pain Tom, in the butt. Tom Carr. He's retired. You know, that's Tom Carr. He's retired. He's all done with Meridian. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. We're, we're, there'll be regular meetings. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. Yeah. On this committee. Yes. Every meeting with people. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's going to be uh, public uh, outreach as part of this. And all that in yep. the committee. Because the part of the committee's purpose is to do public outreach and to have educational sessions with interested townspeople. Well, it's easy to reach out to the town. There's a lot of more means of uh, yeah. mm -hmm. communication than in the, in the past, at least. I don't know how it'll fly through the summer. You usually don't get a lot of. Uh, a couple of years ago, did we make, did we end up making a master plan committee when that vote was taken and the selectmen were supposed to appoint a committee to upgrade the master plan? Was such a committee three or four years ago? No, no, before that. No, it had to be before that because I wasn't on the board when they asked to have the selectmen vote on having a master plan committee. So it was before there was I a was there was a citizen petition I thought like five years ago. No, it had to be longer than that. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I was there for six years and there was no nobody brought forth anything like that. I think the idea was if you had money, you were going to go ahead and do it. And do that. Yeah, that was one of the reasons we pushed for money. I remember something in the on the ballot, a citizen petition, where they were going to try to get the try to force the selectmen to make a subcommittee to. I do too, but I don't know. If, I don't know how long. I, think it it I, don't know, I, I thought it passed, but I don't know anymore. So just Either way, I was going to ask who was on that committee, but it doesn't yeah. matter. The reason I know Tom did some stuff. The reason a quorum for the planning board. Yeah, but I don't see a big problem there. So there may be folks from a conservation who might want to be part of that process. Select board, zoning. They may all want someone. We, I would think it would be useful to have some of those folks as part of the process. We get a couple of new selectmen, so. That's true. Uh, so the size of the committee is optional. Up, up to me, I guess. Up to you. Yeah. Should be a large number. Hmm? Yeah, it could, could be, be an odd number. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. I think it's too bad that only two people from the planning board can be on it, though. Well, more could be, but then it's a planning board meeting as well. Yeah. Yeah, but what's the big deal? So, well, then you yeah. got to kind of watch out for the conflict. Yeah. <laughs> what might be an uh, air of impropriety, as they call it. Oh, yeah? It may be like, oh, yeah, it's the planning board driving this, and, but they're under, well, another, they're under of, another hidden name. It's all right to have one or two members, but they have a couple of people from the, from the select, board of select. Would, uh, yeah. Seems to me that 
Well, I could bring it up to the selectmen and see if they have somebody. I would just send an email out to a whole bunch of people and ask them. Yeah, zoning, select board, conservation. Yeah. You got to be careful with zoning too. Yeah. You, you don't want to. They may have to make award. decisions on some of it. Zoning, you don't want to. I'm not saying they come as representatives of the zoning board. I'm no, saying no, there no, may no. be citizens who are interested they, separately. You know, when, yeah. when you wear that one hat, it's they, you get labeled as that. So yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have a problem with them. Right. If anybody wants to, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. But not to stack it. There's too many. Who's I don't even know what you're trying to say when you're so saying not to stack it. Board, it looks like they're overpowering it, and not, it's not going to be. What anything. it looks like is people don't want to volunteer, except the people who are already volunteering. Right. Oh, we know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, know that's, that's what's going to happen. With the outside looking in. Yeah. So it opens up to a bunch of different people. Let's see if we can um, get a, a mix. Naomi. And I'll put, does it make sense to put this, something like this out on the signboard? The signboard's going to be used in the next couple of days. I don't mean tomorrow or the next couple of days. If we're looking for people who are interested in being part of the Ware Master Plan Update Committee, yep. is that something that can go up on the signboard? And then who do they yep, contact if they're interested? Yeah. Put it up on the website anyway, right? Put it on the website, yeah. yeah. Or the Facebook page. Well, <laughs> should we have a, an alternate from the plan board? Suppose I can't make it. Yeah, can you, can you do that? Well, since Chuck's asking all this stuff about, does anybody to play any board? Can you get a third? Does anybody else want to be on it? I will be an alternate if somebody can't make it. That's as far as I will go with that, because I've got a full schedule other than that. So. Well, I mean, it's 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 kind of a planning board initiative. Yep. It seems. Oh, no, like certainly is. Whenever there's a meeting, well, information on it as an the board should be appraised. Replace Frank or somebody if they can't make it. But I'll, yeah. like I said, I've got uh, limited time. Well, if you're going to be starting now, if you're going to be an alternate, you should be there for the meetings. Just well, all of them. It depends on whether or not I can make it to all the meetings because my work schedule is going to start changing here next month. Yeah, I, I, under I, I understand that completely because yeah, mine's be, going to be changing I'll be working some too. evening, so that's the thing. Yeah. So I should probably cross you off the list. Yeah. Thanks, but that's off as an alternate. Well, I mean, if there was an alternate, they needed somebody that would come and yeah. get updated. Well, yeah, but, but I may not be able to make the, uh, all meetings. We have right. alternates now on the board, and not everybody makes every meeting. So. Well, yeah, but this is a continuous one yeah. thing. It's not talking about every night. We have different okay. agendas here. Well. Pastor Bill, I assume that you're not interested since you didn't say anything. Uh, it depends on the night of the week. I got one night free. What night's that? Monday. Monday? Well, the planning board was... No, that shouldn't be an option because you should pick a night that you can be in this room. What was that? That's the most transparent. Well, that's right. That's a plan. Yeah. Uh, Selectman's meeting. Selectman's meeting. It's not Monday night, then, is it? Oh, well, you're out. And I'm out. I'm going to see you you're out. Friday. I'm out. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I don't have, this, this is going to take an awful lot of time. Yeah, I know. I... That's why I think we should have an offer. That's why you need like seven members. What nights of the week is this room open? How about what nights of the month is this room open? It's like the third week. Um, I guess I, I'm not saying that you have to be in this room. It's just when you can be. Uh, Must be because of the TV. Yeah. It's like the third week is the week. Is that enough? But I just got the ethics committee to take a night. Then, Jean, what are you thinking of? How many meetings a month? Meeting weekly? Meeting twice a week? <laughs> the committee really can't do anything without the person who's going to do the work because they're the one who's going to be providing reports on the data and what's being done. And kind of giving the committee guidance on what they need to do. Mm -hmm. And kind of giving the committee guidance maybe on what they need yeah. to do. Yeah, have to wait till you get somebody for that. Once it gets moving, I would, I, I'm going to suggest twice a month. But obviously, I don't think we need a meeting in March. No. And probably not in April, for that matter. Yeah, you get somebody that's... We need to if, you're doing, if you've got, um, if you're going to use, you know, some public input form, 
dorms, that's when I like to come to the beach. Because they give you two nights a month. Unless it's Friday nights. So I don't know why you guys get a lot of people flying up for the Friday night thing. Well, then, um, well, every other Thursday is okay. No, that we don't meet when Plain Board doesn't meet. Like the first thing. I think the third Thursday is available. Third Thursday? First or third is probably out. Yeah. What night does the ZBA meet? Tuesdays. 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 Convocation is separate. Wednesday, parking lot is separate. Tuesdays. Take it easy for Thursdays, right? You would. Well, just always come here on Thursday. Yeah. Don't know what you're going to do, but just show up. <laughs> we show up anyway. <laughs> yeah, first and third, so then you'll be the first, second, third, fourth. Thirteenth at the ethics committee again. Yeah. Well, whoever's on the committee from this, whoever's going to be here every Thursday. Don't we have a meeting here the 13th? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they're meeting yeah. Okay. Really they're really Unless they board, don't so have anything. Unless there's the planning board, there's nothing else going. Hmm. So if we can do Thursday night, first and third, whatever else works out, I can do that. Oh, you have another one over there. Pass the bill back on the list. For first and third. <laughs> I think um, how the com how the committee is going to uh, work and meet is probably going to initially be guided by that grants agreement because in here it talks about what the committee is supposed to have as key deliverables how we get there oh. is the question and again it's going to depend on whoever the consultant is yeah whoever the consultant is going to drive this thing is going to be the so we're supposed to f the the master plan update committee is supposed to facilitate discussions with town staff and people in the community um so who, who ran it in 2004? Who led the way then? Well, there were numerous. I know I, w I was part of that process at the high school when we had that. Charette. The Charette, yeah. 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 Wasn't me. So and the person, doing the, the, the person doing the work will probably help us with, they're going to have to help us with. I'm going to get paid a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> C conducting right. a, a charrette, a design right. charrette, or yeah. community charrette, yeah. Because in 94, you had a couple of dozen people carrying the ball. Yeah. Uh, I, had, I forget, I was the head of one of the committees. That, that, I don't remember what it was, to be honest with you. Uh, I was reading it the other day, but there were a lot of people involved in that. Right. This is a different setup, <clears throat> totally. I mean, you're not going to have that well, public. We want to get We too. are. Yeah, you are. Ah, yeah. yeah, the uh -huh. that's what the update committee is supposed to do is to go and engage the public, tell them why we're doing this, what we're looking for, why, and we want their input on what's important to them related to this particular sections of the planning of the um, master plan. Great. I'm sure we had more than more than two people from the planning board on that committee. Can I get... We got three now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and an alternate. <laughs> I don't know. He crossed me off, Mark. I, don't know. He did. I, I crossed you off. I can put you back in. Well, again. I think if if we keep it fluid, we should. We'll be fine. I mean, just because you three are members doesn't mean that Bruce can't stop in some Thursday night and say, "Hey, yeah, what about this?" No, absolutely yeah. not. Just attend the meeting. You can attend it as the public. I feel like showing up. That's my schedule. I'll show up. Yeah, I understand. It's a meeting. You can sit there as the public. It's a public meeting. Did you speak? I'm Craig Francisco at 75 Biden Bridge Road. That's yeah. it. Here's the public. Could right. somebody in the public speak at those meetings? It's up to the chairman of Absolutely. the WMPUC. Yeah, if, we're, if we want public <laughs> input, we're going to have to let people speak yeah, on it. And, and the whole idea is to select, solicit public input, yeah. so we're going to have to speak. Yeah. yeah. It's up to so the chairman. The the yeah, we sure are. You've got your committee, you don't even have an office. I know, yeah. I know. So I don't even have a committee yet. That's all right. But Bill has set the table until 413 to give everybody a chance to read both documents that I emailed. Correct. Yeah. And then do you have something? Okay, so Bill has a motion to table this. Correct. For two more weeks. To table you signing it until and two more weeks. Until we read it. No, second that. I think we should wait till Bruce seconded it. Discussion. 
go forward until it's signed. I think we should, pardon me? I, my conviction is we should wait till it's signed before we go forward with anything. Even the RFP, because they're already looking for their first report and we're already, I mean, I think, I think doing some things in parallel might be useful, like How, how about first things first? Do we want, right. to wait, we want to wait and read this before Naomi signs it? Yes. That's what I presented. Okay. Yeah. Any more discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. 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 So, we're going to wait for you to sign it. No, I was going to send you both the grant and the... I think we ought to submit an RFP. We ought to should advertise the RFP, send the letters out right now. Okay, well, go ahead. And give them until the 12th or something like that to get it back to us. Okay. Are you going to do that? Because I don't have time. I don't either. Is there a form letter? Because I. Is there a form letter for this, or do we we need to specify? We need to make it specific. I don't have to a form letter for anything. No, I don't have a form letter for this. <laughs> in related really, relation to this. So and I, and I was going to. So attach this isn't an open RFP, that. Naomi. Yeah, this is they want to send a letter yes. to three people saying, "Would you be interested in doing this?" Basically, well, like and how much all. would you charge us? Yeah, I mean that. That's a lot of times. That's what we. I mean, we put it. We can put it out on the website. We're looking for an RFP, but you can also contact. Directly, yeah. Right. Well, that's what I want to do. I, I don't want to put. I'm with Craig. I recommend we do that. Well, that's what it yeah, out, as, as soon as possible, too, to get. So whatever you share with. Get that people. ball rolling. Put it, I mean, put it on the website. We we won't decide who it's going to be until after it's signed. Obviously. <laughs> but that way, we got somebody on board, like in April. Yeah. Well, the other the other thought I have is if we don't send something out. Like I said, there could be 25 other towns with these things, mm -hmm. and the people we and want end up with could be too big. Right. We end up with nobody. What was our total gift? Gift 25 grand. Mm -hmm. I got an RFP from the Conservation Commission to do a survey not too long ago. I could probably take that RFP and kind of massage yeah. it. What, what is this? What is this person going to do actually? Lead the way. Lead they're the going. Way. They're actually. The they're going to. Here. He's going to be the head of honcho. He or she. I want to get a copy off of Naomi tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Because it says in the grant what that person's going to do, right? It does. Yeah. Then. Okay. It's all written down. What I signed, I don't think did, but the paperwork to do the. Decision. The application, yeah. yeah. The instructions for the application. Yep. So I make a motion we get an RFP out so we have um, some replies hopefully by our April 13th meeting. That's three weeks? Okay, so if I mailed it out early next week sometime, like Tuesday or Wednesday. That still gives them two and a half weeks to get back to us. Mm -hmm. And I could probably email it to everybody anyway. Yeah. And you're going to limit that to three, you're saying? Pardon me? You're going to limit that to three. And she's going to put it on the website. Oh. Yeah. Same dialogue. I mean, I don't have to be completely new. That's why it shows up on the front page of your meeting. And I put it on your page for your agenda. But as long as I can keep that on the front page of the website, then that I don't have to put any of your hands or resources. Is it our Oh. I second Bruce's motion. What's your motion? To get the RFP on Prontos, we have some results by April 13th. Replies. Pronto being within the 28th? Like a week? Uh, within seven days. No, it's not going to be tonight when I get home. Monday the 27th. Tuesday the 28th. I'm hopefully going to do it tomorrow. But so if not, if not, Saturday morning. Make it the 29th. Make it the 30th. 31. 31. 31. Go on. Go on.
vote. All oh. in favor? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. If you do have a new Benji's going to be the new one. Excellent. Interesting. Cool. Well, who's going to ask the board of selectmen to get involved? Me. Are we doing that? You are? I'm going to email everybody. Oh. Yeah. Board of selectmen, conservation, zoning, parks and rec, everybody. Oh, yeah. You mean a bigger room? Finance? Sure. Everybody. So, how many people do we have up for reappointment? Two. Two. What are they doing that? Um, Bill. You notice the vice chairman signed mine. Okay. And Bill had brought in his before vote, and I said we typically do it the first meeting in April, but they won't anybody. Right. So I asked Monique to reach out to everybody and let them know that their term is firing, and that we'd like to redo the form and take care of this thing. What meeting is it? Seven. Do you know which meeting in April? It's probably going to be the, because we're first and third with work sessions on second and fourth. So it's, it'd be the first and third. Okay. Which is the third? Okay. Do I have to be there? Bill's going to be there. I'm going to be there. I didn't ask if Bill was going to be there. I asked if I had to be there. Are you reapplying? Yeah. <laughs> you got to be the chance. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, based, I mean, based upon comments from the selectmen a year ago, they were concerned about those who were wanting to serve not showing up. So, yeah. so we'll go for ice cream. That's right. You buying? There's no ice cream until Mother's Day. Oh. Darn it, you, uh, Mama. Jeez. you got to be jamming again. With the, with I don't that know. My hand. Ice cream on Mother's Day. <laughs> I was going to say we should have a vote right now because our rules and regs say we're supposed to vote after the town meeting, yeah. the first meeting afterwards. But if, I don't know if I'm going to be be appointed. I don't know if Pastor Bill's going to be reappointed. How can we have a a vote? Yep, it's true. Pardon me? Can't wait to reappoint. Right. So, so put put that on the agenda, uh, officers. What else was there? Is there anything else? No. Move to adjourn. Doesn't matter if there's anything else. We have a motion on the table. And check seconded. Pardon me? It's been seconded. It's been seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? So is this? Aye, aye, aye.